Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Alundra 2. Now we're in the last episode, we got dumped off a ship that's on the way to Varuna City. Or Varuna Town. And now we're in this strange cave that we can't get to the other side of until we find keys. There are four sections. We already got one of the keys in the last episode. So now we gotta go through another set of trials. And by the looks of it, it's invisible enemies. That really you don't need to see them. They leave behind their shadows all the time. And they wouldn't even be much of a threat anyway. Because one, they barely attack. Two, the next room has, you know, a healing. So I could probably do with just not even revealing where anything is at all. Hang on, is that door still locked? Oh, hold on. 500 gold! That's a pretty damn good piece of treasure. Well, I guess I kind of needed to see if there was a button. I didn't even know a button dropped. Whoa, okay, that... Okay, this time I might have to reveal where my enemies are. I think these are the lizards? Because by the time they get up to me, they home in on my direction. And they're already ready to strike. Man, Gex is just pissed for some reason. Look at that! As soon as I get up, like maybe barely 30 frames later, already they're up for more blood. How the frig are you supposed to do that, legit? Like, you don't have a block. I think it might be in my best interest to just go to the healing pod. Rather than just make myself spend money to get another item that I'm gonna use. I think that would be in my best interest at this point in time. Too bad I couldn't just buy a, you know, a piece of weaponry, or even a shield. There is an invisible chest here, is there? Mm, no. Yeah, that seems to be the gimmick, just stealthy enemies. Oh god! Okay, I see what I gotta do. So there's a stealthy enemy, but there's also obstacles that are going to be in the way, and they'll just take care of the fire, which you need to guide over to the torches, which thankfully that part's pretty easy. Do I even need to fight these enemies? I don't think I do. Oh, I've seen these statues before as well. It's not like I have the means to break them. I would if I could. Oh, that's a sign? Take wing and leave this hungry earth. Take wing and leave this hungry earth. Aha! It was a riddle! I figured I had something to do with, like, leaving this hungry earth means get off the ground. Okay, I like riddles like that. You know, just make you think a little. Oh, these again? 
You guys look like a mid-boss in Zelda 1. You know, I could just keep doing this. As long as I stand around here, they, they can't even reach me. Uh, uh oh. Jesus, just touching the eyeball does that much. That's insane. Okay, and that one seems to try to reach you. So really, the fireballs are the least threatening. They don't even do 40 damage. But touching an enemy does over 100. I feel like there's something wrong with that. But that's just me. I, I hate video games where contact damage, just brushing up against an enemy does way more damage than a projectile. Even if that projectile is floating fire. I never understood that in video games, but it's a thing. You know, maybe the uh, eyeball membrane is very acidic. I don't know. Can't really question game logic nowadays. As much as you try. It's just an arduous task. One that just causes way too much brain death. But what else would I have to talk about <laughs> if I didn't question game logic, right? Okay, we'll try the room on this side. Red, yellow, blue. Yellow, red, yellow, blue. Okay, red, yellow, blue. Yellow, red, yellow, blue. Okay, so yellow comes up every even time. So that's kind of easy to remember. Just what exactly is colored though? Let's find out. Y'all ain't shit for that. Alright, hold on. Aha! Well, there's red. Which is fine, but then what? Like, what does it even do? Like, red. Okay. And then next up is yellow. Okay, but what, am, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, why would there be a puzzle if it's just, you go one way? And that's blue. Okay, but I know how this works. That's not a puzzle. Huh? Red, yellow, blue, yellow, red, yellow, blue. Okay, but... There was only one way! Where did I go wrong? doesn't even make sense. Red. And then yellow. And then it's gonna be blue.
Do I go back to the yellow room? Oh, wait a minute! Red, yellow, blue. So there's only three rooms. I go from the red room to the yellow room to the blue room. Then I go back to the yellow room. To the red room. Then to the yellow room again. And then finally the blue room. You guys are dumb. This is the blue room. Okay, so now we're, we're successful. We did it. Silence conquers all. Making weird poses. Yeah, it just told me to stand perfectly still. Interesting, that is. Let me guess. Eyes again? Oh. So I gotta use the bombs. Just have one lit up. And then when it's lit... Ah, come on! Yeah, just throw it like maybe a couple seconds so that I actually detonate in midair. Damn it. Oh, come on! What? Game. Sometimes the timing is just bullshit. I guess you just have to be sure to dodge a fireball, then throw it. Oh, but sometimes that'll be too late still. It's kind of rough. I mean, it's all extremely finicky on that one. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, we'll just give you a fireball you cannot hit. Are you serious? Okay, I think I know what needs to be done. You were supposed to just, like, keep the bomb on the ground, have the fireball hit it, and then pick it up. It took a while, but at least now I understood it. Oh, another key? So we have one more to find. They give you the same pickups every time as well. You know, the nuts, the tonic, and of course the key. Which is alright. At least it doesn't have me buy nuts. I'm gonna save a little bit of money here and there. Okay, the, the lizards don't come back. They just had enough. We learned our lesson because we keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. And Voss was right. That is the definition of insanity. Funny enough, I like I mentioned this as a way to like tell people to play Far Cry 3, and I have not played Far Cry 3. I played 4. 4 is good. Okay, what the hell is this? This is not a room I was already in. Okay, 
Okay, there's torches. Oh, okay. Let's bring this over. <laughs> Still worked! <laughs> Who am I to complain? Oh god, this again? Why would it just stab me like that? Rude. <laughs> okay. It seems just touching the spear is enough to hurt you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I see what I gotta do. A little too late. A little too late again. You have to, like, launch the spear as the fireball is passing so that the spear will be on fire. Okay. Now what? Oh, there's just all this. Oh. Ah! Fuck. Alright, I see what I gotta do. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's try this. What? How about over here? This is rough. You gotta hope the hit detection does not screw you. Yeah, that's where you gotta go. I mean, that part's easy, when you think about it. It just requires a little bit of pathfinding. I don't see if there's any other chest, and I don't see one. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I didn't even have to fight the bats? Okay, that was funny. That was an easy room. I guess they were just there to be a distract. Huh? Wait. What if I make them turn away? So as long as even one statue is looking at the button, it's gonna stay away. There we go. You didn't even need to hit each statue more than once. Once was enough. I just want to see if that would actually work. You guys again? This is getting old. Oh great, now they're just... Oh Jesus! I see what's going on. Now the bombs are gonna be detonated immediately. By the time I pick it up, it's already too late. I got an idea. I guess I need to stand under this enemy. That way I catch the bomb immediately. Don't 
Don't bother with the smaller ones, because the timing is just a little tricky, and they're not part of the equation. They'll die automatically. I did it. So that should be the final key. Might as well just drink a tonic, because I get it back for free anyway. Okay, that's the final key. So now we can just get out of here. Unless the next room is like, do this again, eight more puzzles. We want to test your brains even more. I would honestly say when it comes to this game, like midway through, the combat is still very weak. Some of the puzzles, like logic puzzles like this, I don't mind. A game like this would shine well on the puzzles. And at least Alundra wanted better combat, even though those puzzles were good too. Although most of the puzzles in Alundra 1 I felt were just find a way across some trees. You see that chest there? Go around the long way. You figure it out. But that's like in the overworld. Dungeons weren't too bad, but a lot of it was just the platforming. Here the combat is just very wonky. I trust this will get us out of here. I hope the shopkeepers be aware of this. It's not like I'm gonna tell them. Whoa! There's people here. Mmm! This rib roast is delicious! It sure is! Nice and juicy with a slight smoky taste. Who's that over there? Who are you? How did you find our secret base? Kids! What is all this shouting about? Wait, I know you. Uncle! This suspicious character just showed up out of nowhere! What the? Sir Flint! But how did you get here? I was tossed off a boat. Next thing you know, I ended up here. Oh, and the princess has gone back to Varuna. Sir Flint, pardon me for asking, but how did you find our children at the Crown Headquarters? It was the only other way on the other side of those big doors. What? Mephisto has taken Princess Alexia hostage? And you say he was under orders from Baron Diaz? <laughs> oh, this is just terrible. What are we going to do? But why would Baron Diaz do such a thing? I always knew Diaz was crooked. We can't let him get away with this. We've got to do something. Well, it's pretty obvious why the Baron would want to have Princess Alexia. Possibly marry her off. And then you, by right, become the king. Let's rescue the princess and take the throne back by force. For the crown! For the crown! Alright, well, at least Prunewell's on board. So, how the hell are we gonna get to Varuna from here? Oh no. Oh my god, it's that whale again! Moby Dick's like, You thought you could escape me, huh? I'm coming. We've got thrusters now. What 
Just pray it doesn't turn around. <laughs> that horn looks like it's bad news. What was that thing? It, it was huge! Well, we got a job to do. Let's forget about it and get going. You're right. Let's go. Is this thing powered by a treadmill? Yes, that's our king. The king of Varuna. Donald looks like you. He is the reason why we formed the Children of the Crown. The children are a small group of princes and princesses bound together by their oath to defend the crown. I hate to admit it, but without Princess Alexia, our group here is little more than a childish game of pretend. We couldn't hope to defeat Baron Diaz in any sort of conflict without her. And now that the Baron has the King in prison and Princess Alexia in his hands, our kingdom is in terrible danger. With the pirates and Mephisto at his side, the Baron will be unstoppable. Sir Flint, you're our only hope now. Please, save Princess Alexia. Attention all crew members! Full speed ahead! We're gonna take back our kingdom! For the crown! You think they'll just let us into Varuna though? I think they're gonna be on high alert. My king, I humbly beg you for Princess Alexia's hand in marriage. What are these sound effects? My king, <clears throat> Baron Diaz humbly begs you for Princess Alexia's hand in marriage. These guys deserve to be overthrown. The king has granted your request. I am most honored, your munificence. Alright, princess, we gotta get married. He was bound by a king's nod. It's really all you need nowadays, right? Contracts are overrated. Oh, that's what the ducks were! It was a submarine this whole time! Okay, everybody! Prepare to attack! Let's save the king! Maybe I should learn how to drive first. This is me playing Gran Turismo, constantly fishtailing. Well, that didn't last long! Okay, that was actually pretty funny. We're gonna go right in and we get arrested. You're all under arrest by order of Baron Diaz. How dare you? Let me out of here. Let us go. 
I command you to let us go! Shut up in there, you pampered little poodles! Release us at once! I am Prunewell, and I demand you to release us immediately. Now we can walk through these bars. Quiet in there! I promise you'll regret all of this. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I can almost squeeze through this. But I'm a prince! How can they imprison me in my own kingdom? Uh, like what they're doing now. I want to see Princess Alexia! What do you got to say? I didn't think Baron Diaz's lust for power is so great that he would go this far. Throwing us in prison? He could have done worse. That's pretty light. This way, punk! You! I'm talking to you! Don't make me come in there! Now let's go! Baron Diaz is waiting. Alright, alright. Maybe I'm just shocked that you would just let me go. So, you're a flint. You're much younger than I imagined. Perhaps you've heard of me. Let me introduce myself. I'm Baron Diaz. <laughs> She's telling you to run. How cute. I do believe she cares. Now that would have hurt if it landed on her head. Now that I have your undivided attention, let's get down with business. If you want to save the princess, you will do as I say. <coughs> Quiet there, sweet princess. See that spiked iron ball? Now imagine what it would do to her head. Just outside of Faruna is the town of Guaba. There, you will meet a man named Nanuki. Follow his directions precisely, or I'll release this spike ball onto the princess's head. Man, murder is definitely not beneath you, huh? Just go right out that way and you'll find the town of Guaba. Good luck, kiddo! But this way? What are you doing in there? Why are you stabbing the air? What's wrong with you? I guess I just go down. I can't even rotate the camera. Nor can I jump in any of these fountains. I wonder what Diaz would even want. Up a save point there. Uh, I guess we can just leave and go to Guava first. It would be nice to actually get some fresh air. Oh, you just go straight to Guava Town there. Well, that's very helpful. There doesn't seem to be much to it. That way's the town of Guava. That way's Roswell's house. Do I really need to see Roswell that badly? Just on the other side of the bridge. Actually, it's in a cave. Hello. Nice chair. Wow, you look like Prunewell. I know what you be. Have you some business with me? I'm a very busy man, you see. If you know business, then get out of my face! Rude. Yeah, I'm 
going. Maybe we'd be nicer, he can live a bit longer. I can tell you don't have much time for this world. Just, just, just looking out for you. Seems how you don't look out for anyone else. Are you Flint? Here are the Baron's orders. His earrings. Where'd you get them from? Green Hill Zone? The Baron's orders say, find the hook-handed man. Oh, there's only one person I can think of. Good luck, boy. Do not keep the Baron waiting. He is most impatient. Oh! Okay, that's cool. So how big is this town? If you want to go to Guaba, take this elevator to the first floor. I thought this was already Guaba. Which floor would you like to go to, sir? First floor. I obviously want to go to the town. Hey. Come on, tell me! Where'd Pop go? I'm sorry, I don't know. You don't know? Fine. Then where's Albert? I'm sorry, miss. We really don't keep track of everyone that goes through here. You're useless! Huh? You're still alive? Wow, you're a tough one to kill. Well, that's fine. Albert said he was going to find an inn, but now I can't find him anywhere. Did you try looking at the inn? That figures. You're no help either. Bitch. <laughs> Hello. Yep, that church sure did donate a lot of money to this town. Can't even talk to them weirdos. They're nothing but a bunch of space cases, if you ask me. What about you? Are you also a space case? We need donations to fix the bridge. And mend the roads, too. Have you tried selling some lemonade? Maybe you sell enough of it? Oh, there was yellow statues here, too. Oh, there's a sign. Oh god. X button to change the map size, circle button to toggle the map. Okay, this is where I am right now. Just outside the town hall. There's an inn. The item shop is all the way over there. Okay. I want to go to the item shop first, and then I'll go to the inn. A man with a hook for a hand? Yes, I did see him. He is with a tall young man. They went into the inn. I'll be going there soon enough. I want to go buy some things. Oh, that just leads out there. Church of the Key? I don't want to go to Church of the Key yet. Let's go buy some things. This is the item shop, right? Yes, okay. Could use some new wares. Let's see what you got. I can get a Titan Shield for 1500. No, no. That happens. There we go. Should I get some elixirs too? I'll hold off on that. I mean, how often am I going to need elixirs? Oh, the guy with the hook? Yeah, I saw him around here just a little while ago. Cool. 
What is this? Oh, that's probably just the map again. Sue's house? Hmm. Well, seems though I'm near the area. Why don't I pay Sue a visit? I think let's go through this way. Oh, that's Linda's house. A man with a hook hand? Yes, I saw him out back a while ago. Hey. Remember the hook? I'm sure I would have remembered. Do you? Do you remember? Why do you have an elevator that goes upstairs? Oh. Sadly, I can't do anything with that. I don't have anything to light this on fire. Now, unfortunately, I can't just jump off the elevator and just grab the chest that way. That would have been a cheap way to do things, but it would have been cool. I can't even just jump off the roof. I don't know why I can't. I know I can handle, like, really tall heights. I've done it before. So I don't know what this game's talking about. Oh, what about over here? That's Jose's house. Hook hand? No, I've never seen a hook hand. A man with a hook hand? Nope, never seen anyone like that. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah, this place is huge. Now where am I in proportion to the map? Thank God there's signs everywhere that just tell you this. Oh, now I'm all the way over here. Oh, I guess you have to go up the stairs if you want to go to Sue's house. Okay. That makes sense. I guess. Okay! Yep, I saw him. He passed down this street earlier. Sounds neat, I guess. Man, it's gonna be nuts how much exploring you gotta do in this game. Especially in just this one town. It's got so much. Whoa. This place has seen better days. This one does not have an elevator. Instead, it just has a ladder. Odd. Oh, hello. Hey! Treasure chest! A puzzle piece. That's awesome. That was a good find. Hello. A hook handed guy? What do you mean? Like a pirate or something? No, somebody that got in a, like in a motor accident or something. A hook hand? Nope, don't think I've seen one. A man with a hook hand? Now that you mention it, I just saw someone like that shopping. Doesn't help me now, but thanks, I guess. So it's very likely he's at the inn. That's the last place I heard. Let's try this house. Poe's house. A man with a hook hand? I don't remember seeing anyone with a hook for a hand. Oh, maybe this will jog your memory? Uh, only 30 gold. That's the thought that counts. Hello. Whoa! Why do you have a treasure chest? 
There's a puzzle piece in there. Hey, you want it? Well, I can't give it to you for free. I'll give it to you if you give me all the money you have. Is that okay? I'll come back. She wants all my money. Well, if that's gonna happen, I might as well just load up all the elixirs that I can. I'll gain the system. Rather than just piss away so much of my cash for one puzzle piece, I might as well piss away all my money for one puzzle piece and some elixirs. I can only buy five. So, you know, a puzzle piece for 305 gold doesn't hurt as much. And I bought as many elixirs as I could. So that could save me a little bit of trouble for later. See? And it's still there. She was trying to convince me, oh, it's gonna be gone real soon. She's only doing that just to try to get money out of me. Hehehe! <laughs> Another successful sale! You're saying that as if you had more than one treasure chest or puzzle piece this whole time. And somehow I think you're full of crap. I guess what I need to do is go to the inn. And I really need to find a save point, too. There's usually one at the inn. Uh, upstairs, I guess? Huh, that fish is moving. That's kind of freaky. Oh, this was the kitchen. Ever since the tourists stopped coming, business has been terrible. Oh, you also have a piggy bank. Oh, that's going to go into your food purchasing. <laughs> 15 gold, how pathetic is that? I'd be better off just robbing the old man. Alright, so let's save. This would be a good time to call it an episode because it's eclipsed. It's pretty close to 50 minutes. But at least we got a fair amount done. So let's stop here. In the next part, we'll go through more Guava Town to find Zeppo. See you everyone. Thanks for watching.